Hello, welcome to East Anglia Yarn Festival vlog. So I'm now at the Big Knit Night, I'm just about to go in. I'm just at the Bulbra Golf Club at Glen Lodge. Um, it was the same venue last year and it was really nice, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm not gonna be able to film a lot in there because it's not nice to have the camera in people's faces, but I'll be able to give you an idea of what the room's like and the activities that are going on. So here we go. So good morning, we're at East Anglia Yarn Festival. The whole family's here. <laughs> Hopefully Jensen will be sufficiently entertained by Daddy throughout the day, so we're gonna see how it goes. Um, but I'm gonna take you with me. It's a lovely venue. There's some lovely load of seating, which is brilliant. And there's gonna be a podcaster sort of meet up area so that we can sit and have a knit or crochet or whatever. So that'll be lovely to see everybody. So let's go in, shall we? So we've got Emma from Eldenwood Craft. This is your first stall that you've done, it is, isn't it? Yes. And it looks fantastic. We've got the sign in the background so we can see. Emma has also got Oh sorry. Karen, you're interrupting. <laughs> She's in the video now. <laughs> So Emma also does a podcast. If you haven't watched already, give it a go because she's got some beautiful things that she's been making. She makes lovely hand-dyed yarn and gorgeous bags here. You're very, very famous for the sheep bag um, right. over here. So if you've, if you've seen Emma before and you don't watch her podcast, you'll know her for the sheep bags. So what are you knitting, Emma? I'm knitting a sock because that's what you have to do when you're a show vendor. And it's out of one of my very own yarns, which I'm very excited about. <gasps> And what's it called? The yarn, yarn is... Um, this is putting you on the spot now. Question, yeah. <laughs> I still don't really know the names of all my yarns because they're so new. But this one is Golden Ticket. Oh, lovely. That's really pretty. I must admit, people will say to me about my colourways, which I've maybe had for ages, and I still forget them. I have to think, oh God, what's that called? <laughs> but thank you very much, Emma, for You're having a little well, bit of an interview. It's lovely to see you. So Jensen is playing with the lovely pick lily sets, um, which have got, this one's got um, some dinosaurs. Oh, there's some cars with the dinosaurs now. Yeah, they're having, they're driving. 
We've got Jensen a couple of these. They're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and she also does some knitting stuff as well. <laughs> Do you want some? Yeah. No, I'll be right. So we're at the podcast meetup. I'm getting really close because I'm hoping that the background noise isn't too loud because there's a lot of people shopping over there. This is Fran from Franny Do Makes. Hello. And she's got a gorgeous new jumper on. You've got to go on and the watch. Latest, on the latest episode. Yeah, so go and watch it. <laughs> It'll be in the description box down below. <laughs> We've got loads of other podcasters around there. I'll take you around a few of them in a minute. We've got Helen from Giddy Yarns over here. I'll come and talk to her. So Helen is over here. Hello. I've got Norma, who's the East Anglia mascot. <laughs> very, very. <laughs> I somehow acquired her. She no, yeah, well, yeah, she's coming home with me now. So she was made for Laura as a surprise um, because obviously the East Anglia logo has the Norfolk Longhorn sheet on it. I think. I think. <laughs> Um, it's got Norfolk Longhorn on the body over the top. Uh, there we go, there we go. I was, just saying that, I was just saying that it was made for you, but I might be stealing it. I will hunt you down. I know you live. It's a long journey, but I will It's been living on my good face. <laughs> So we have another two lovely podcaster ladies. <laughs> and would you like to introduce yourselves? I'm going to come a bit closer. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm coming in close. I'm coming in close. I'm lying on the floor here, you can see. <laughs> I'm Davina from Little Workroom Crafts. And this is... I'm Belinda from Belinda. It's lovely to meet these lovely ladies, and we've got a gorgeous. What's it called? That jumper again? I've forgotten. Uh, the Whitmore. The Whitmore, absolutely gorgeous. I think I need to knit one of those. <laughs> Hello. So we have Madison from the House of Langford, and look at this gorgeous cardigan. Absolutely lovely. I need really long arms to get. Them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's lovely to meet you, Madison. Yeah. So we um, met last year, but it was very brief last. Year. Well, we literally it was like everyone stood. met and everyone moved. It was like okay. <laughs> it was nicer to sort of sit. Yeah, and chat I kind bit of more. like. I think I dipped in and out last year because um, I was taking their lesson as well at the same time. Oh, so right. I sort of caught up with Martin's podcast, and I was like, right, now I'm going to go find everybody. <laughs> it was just easier. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're now do, off to do some more shopping. <laughs> so I thought I'd just show you a map of what the venue looks like. We are currently sat in this food hall area here. There's a teaching space through these doors. That's where we stop for the podcast to meet up. And you've got rows of stalls here. And there's also quite a lot of seating over there as well. So I'll show you the seating area that we've got here. There's a lot of tables. It is now Sunday morning, so I'm mixing up the clips a little bit so that you can sort of get a nice idea of what the weekend was like so through these doors here is where the classes are but the lights aren't on at the moment because they're not started yet um, but we've got brownie stall and kettle corn and we've got over here we've then got the stalls so we've got the I think there's four um, lanes of stalls to go and have a look at but you can see it's a lovely big airy space it's not very busy at the moment yesterday got a little bit busy sort of at lunchtime um, so I think it's best to come on a Sunday if you don't like the crowds, um, but there's so much to see. 
There's also an extra set of toilets over at the back here, which is always brilliant. So there's toilets right at the front as you come in through the entrance. Hopefully I'm not making you go dizzy turning around. Um, but right at the front at the entrance as you come in there's toilets, but also right inside the venue. And they're brand new toilets, which is lovely. So right behind me here is the cafe. And there's also a quiet room. I haven't actually been in, but it's nice to be able to have somewhere that you can go away where it's nice and quiet if it's really busy um, in this big room. Have you bought much? I, well, I bought a bit more than I had when I saw you a little while ago. So yeah, I bought some, yeah, some, some... Go over and watch Ali's yes. video. <laughs> I won't go me. into it now. <laughs> but I will show you that um, I've got a skein of yarn from the Curated Yarn Company as a giveaway. Oh, I need to yeah. buy some giveaway stuff. Yeah. I've bought a few things for myself so far, which is very selfish. Yeah. And you've just been at that, the left hookery. I'm a bit you jealous of that. Yes. Yeah. You need I'm looking, one of those. Yes, well. I do. Well, I'll see you make yours and you can influence me. Yes. <laughs> I will keep the shop details so that you can go on the website and order one for yourself. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you could put them in the description box underneath. Yes, I'll put them in the description box underneath. <laughs> So we've got Hannah from Corner of Craft and tell us about what you're wearing, Hannah. I am wearing the Fluff Nugget cardigan. It's a pattern by Becky Sorensen. Uh, it's made out of my fluffy lace base, which is mohair and silk. Yep. And it's just so fluffy and nice. It's it is, buttons. It is beautiful. I love it. And you've got, what's the name of the sheep again? Norma. Norma. That's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Norma. <laughs> and Helen, what have you got on today? I, I am wearing... I should say Giddy Yarn. Sorry. I missed... Say. <laughs> You've been on the video already, so we shouldn't know. <laughs> I am wearing the Aquamarlene jumper, which is by Park Williams, I believe. It's made out of lots of yarns. So you, it's like bulky weight, you hold lots together and lots of marling. And I'm also wearing the Rainbow Wings shawl by um, Knitting X Pack. Oh, yes, that's so gorgeous. This is made out of my yarn. Well, beautiful. <laughs> Love it. That looks like a really wearable shawl because it's got nice long bits to go around your neck. Yeah, lovely. 
good. <laughs> and we've got Erin from Henny Penny Makes. And you have got another love note on. I'm wearing one as well. <laughs> Such a nice one to do. Knits up so quickly. Um, is this your yarn? Yes, it's my yarn. The Dig for Victory colouring. It's my, I um, did it with the Siri fluff. Um, Gorgeous. So, so it is. It's nice. It's just lovely. Lovely, thank you. And we've got Martin here knitting his socks. You've got socks on as well, so let's have a look at your socks, Martin. <laughs> socks and stocks, we're going to make them famous. I flipping love that, that's lovely. They're I, like contrast blast socks. It it's is, even worse. I love those zigzag bits, that's my favourite bit in those. Yeah. I'm tempted to knit another pair with just the zigzag bit, I think. That would be really nice. Yes. And what's, what's the pattern you're knitting now? Uh, they are the painted honey combs. Lovely. So that's Martin from Knit365 Podcast. Um, I'm sure he'll have a vlog as well, so make sure you go and watch his as well. Thank you. <laughs> and we've got Becky. What's your video called, Becky? I've forgotten. Uh, Becky Knits. Becky Knits. Well, that's, I should have remembered that, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you knitting and what are you making? Um, what have you got around your neck, I mean? So I am wearing my Euphorbia wrap by Amber O'Brien in the um, uh, Advent by Skin and Stitch. And then I can't remember what this is called. But it's beautiful. It's from the crochet chain. And that's coming out lovely. The colours of that yarn, it's absolutely stunning. Yeah. Beautiful. So thank you very much, everybody. I'm scanning what are you over. Wearing? You need to get yourself around. <laughs>
So what, what's your company and what do you sell? Can you tell us a bit about it? I'm Iris from Hyris Makes and I design knitwear patterns. So um, for mainly for women's patterns, mainly garments, but also a few little accessories. Um, across all different sizes and lots of styles. Lovely. And you designed the knit along for this yes, time, didn't did. you? Which is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, the I, Haley. I wanted to actually knit it, but then I just didn't get around to it. I don't know where the time went. That's fine. <laughs> but thank you very much, Iris. <laughs> So I'd like to introduce you to two lovely ladies from the Blue Fern Yarn Stand that also do podcast. So can you tell me a bit about your podcast? So we are Norfolk Girls Knitting on YouTube and we do have a mini Instagram as well. And yeah, our podcast, we put one up on... It's usually every four to six weeks. Yes. They sometimes are quite long. So you take them in small doses. Um, yeah. And we go off on a, a lot of tangents. tangents. <laughs> <laughs> and even the one that went up last night. We had a bit of a Barney. We had a bit of a Barney on. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think it's the best thing I've ever done. Oh good. <laughs> yes. So I'll pop a link in the description back down below. We've got Helen from Giddy Yarns in the video. <laughs> Wave some yarn. <laughs> <I'm> shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Mary Poppins connection. So we're back. I am wearing my love note. I didn't film much of myself, um, but I'm wearing my love note I made out of my own hand dyed yarn in the pink colourway, which is inspired by the Aerosmith song. And I used 200 grams of my fingering weight merino and nylon and two skeins of Siri alpaca and silk um, lace weight yarn. So I held the fingering weight and the lace weight together to make this lovely fluffy texture. And it's come out really lovely and light. So we're back from the show. I've popped into my craft room so I can now record a 
a little video of what I've actually bought at the show because I thought I'd keep that as a separate thing in case you weren't that interested in watching what I've actually purchased. I have purchased quite a lot so spoiler alert. <laughs> um, so I have I will put a separate video on that whether it'll be up at the same time as this video I don't know but it will be shortly afterwards maybe the next day at the most. So there will also be um, there's a there's a couple of things that I bought for Jensen that were handmade from one of the stalls as well of like toys so if you're interested in handmade toys um there's some things that, that might interest you as well as the things that i've bought that i fancy knitting and crocheting for myself <laughs> Um, and there will be a pri a couple of prizes as well for those of you who comment on that video um, so if you're interested in winning a couple of things from the show that i've purchased as prizes um, then make sure you watch that i must admit i didn't get chance to film every single stall so i will leave a link instead of leaving a link to all the, the stalls i visited i will leave a link to the east anglia yarn festival website where it's got a link to all of the vendors so that you can go and check out their shops and perhaps buy something online if you've seen something that i've shown in the videos so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if I, you'd like to see more and i shall see you in the next video bye